I hate being sick so much. This sucks. I wish I could be more enthusiastic like I said I was gonna be, but I can't. Because this cold is getting to my head and it's annoying and oh my god. Okay, alright. White Rose Knight. Yes, if you run into a White Rose Knight, use the same strategy you did with Red Rose Knights. Basically, they are fire-based, weak against water. The only difference is, well, they're white. They have, they have a different attack pattern. Basically, as far as I know, they use homing arrow level 2, and they will actually hit you with their sword, I guess. I don't know. That's all I really have to say about White Rose Knights. Pretty much the same enemy, regardless. Anyways. So... Yes, as I was saying, I was sick. If there's no videos for the next couple of days, it's um because I'm trying to recover from my cold, so don't think I've abandoned you, it's just because I want my voice to be as happy and enthusiastic as possible, viewers. Can you understand that? Because I said I was going to be so enthusiastic in this part, but clearly I'm not. I have a stuffy nose, a headache, my throat was hurting earlier. It's not hurting as bad, so I guess that's one reason why I'm doing the commentary. The other reason is I just got back from the theaters watching Paranormal Activity 3, and uh, oh man, I need to talk about that. Actually, it's kind of ironic, because despite me being sick, my friend also happened to be sick. And, um, it's not that we canceled on seeing it, you know, saving it for next weekend or anything. We were both determined to go see it today. Okay, we were both excited to go see it today. And that's what we did. Even though we may have pissed a couple kids off, because it is opening weekend, and there was a couple kids who I believe were under 17... I say this because I think here in Washington State you have to be 17 to go see an R rated movie. I think. I don't know. I'm 22, so it doesn't really apply to me. But, uh, yeah, there was a couple kids trying to get in, trying to see if anyone would sneak them in, you know, act as their uh, legal guardian. And, uh, I guess the movie theater we went to had a lot of problems with kids getting in, sneaking in, and so, like, the staff and employees were really cracking down making sure that everyone knew the legal precautions and consequences for actually sneaking kids in, acting as a legal guardian. So, uh, yeah, me and my friend, despite, okay, basically we got asked twice by two different groups to get into, if they, uh, let us act as their legal guardian so they could get into the movie theater, and we basically said no, we weren't gonna do it. Because uh, we didn't really want to get put into a legal situation, legal matter, because it's our day off, both of us, you know, we just want to relax, have a good time, go hang out, because that's why we got together in the first place. And if, you know, some kid wants us to, like, get them in, unless I know that kid, I'm not doing it. Unless I actually am friends with someone who's under tw 17. I'm not going to act as your legal guardian, man. Just not going to do it. But if I am friends with you, I'll totally get you in. Totally. Anyways. So, Paranormal Activity 3. How does it stand up to the other two, and is it worth watching? Well, as a horror movie on its own, it made me jump a couple times. And as I like to think, if a scary movie can make you jump, then it's worth watching. That's all I have to say about that. Now, does it hold up to the other two? Not quite. I don't know, maybe it's because I've already seen the other two, so I have a good idea what I'm going into, and I guess because I kinda have an idea what the whole situation is, it's just not as effective as if it, if it was the situation where I hadn't seen any of the other, any of the other two. Sorry, I can't talk right now. The cold's gone to my head. But, um... Yeah, I don't know if it's just because I have a good idea what to expect, or maybe it was the crowd. Because, uh, one of the reasons I really like going to see Paranormal in the theaters is, um, because the crowd actually has a lot to contribute, because they'll, like, scream, yell, yell out absurdities. It's kind of really entertaining if you have a good crowd. 
And I remember in Paranormal Activity 2, that was like the best crowd I remember. A lot of people were commenting on the scariest stuff in that movie, and a lot of them were yelling, and it was acting as a splash effect. In this movie, there was a little bit of group participation, but it just wasn't as effective as, like, the last time I went to see Paranormal Activity. Yes, it wasn't as effective as when I went to see Paranormal Activity 2, so... I don't know, maybe I just got a bum crowd, maybe I had a good idea what I was getting into, but it just wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. And that's really all I have to say. And it's good timing, because we got plots. We got Beegus here. I'm going to pronounce it Beegus. Yes, basically he's on a tyrant rampage. He's going to try to rule the world. Taking over land by land. You know what, Shannon? Where have you been? You haven't been in the last two inns. Why are you here? Are you saying that you teamed up with Lavar and Beegus? You're... Uh, you're just a jerk, Shannon. And you, Lavar! Why do you keep telling me about you're gonna destroy us for the sake of your own means? Can we beat you? Of course we can. Okay, good. Good. You will tell us everything. So this battle with Lavar... Basically, it's the same one as in... Baragoon Tunnel, I do believe. He's still Earth-based. I think he has about the same amount of HP. Could be wrong. Okay, that's that one attack I was talking about that he has, where he can summon a dragon and it breathes its fire breath on you for a couple points of damage. It hurts, but as you can see, it's not quite deadly. In fact, thanks to Hydronics, I managed to actually level up my stats quite a bit. Or rather, raise them quite a bit. I have a lot more health. A little bit more MP, a lot more defense, thankfully. And yeah, basically this spell, not too bad. There's a downside though. We've become strong, now the real fight is on. That's right, we're actually fighting Lavar for the... Yeah, excuse me. Fighting Lavar for reals this time. This is the real battle. Anyways, so... Okay, Lavar has two attacks, different from the last battle. Basically, he has this one attack where he summons, like, these six spike ball symbol things. I don't know. Yeah, anyways, like, he hurls this circle at you, and it does multiple points of damage, but I don't think it's nearly as bad as summoning a giant dragon that freaking does this flame breath attack. So, you know, not too bad. He also has Ice Knife. So he can ice shank you, but other than that, it, he is earth based. Spank him back and forth with wind because, you know, he's weak against wind. And you know what? Wind Cutter level 3 does a significant amount of damage despite him having more health. I think he's actually weaker in my opinion. More health, but weaker. So it's not really too bad of a battle. Just watch your health. And that's Lavar for the most part. Say goodbye, Lavar. All right, moving on. We got more plot and stuff. Um, uh, Brian's grieving the fact that we kind of spanked Lavar too hard. You know what? I'm not really all that sorry. Right? He's rid of the burden. We did him a favor. Actually, I should talk about Lavar. Basically, in Quest 64, Lavar was there. He was in Shamwood, and. That's really all I have to say. He gave you backstory as far as I know. Anyways. I will say this. We could have gone to Shamwood earlier on, but we haven't. And the reason for that is because it's required later on in the game. So, we will be going to Shamwood. Just not right now. Uh-oh. Looks like Vegas found us and, uh... Dinalado? I think that's how you pronounce that person's name. Either way, it's a witch. It's a witch with a very provocative name. Oh man. We were so busy with fighting Lavar, we didn't even realize that they had set a trap up for us. What? No! They're gonna bombard the monastery! No! Don't do it! Don't do it! No! Our friends, our family? No! You bastards! You blew it up! You blew it all to hell! Oh wait, it's floating. Never mind. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, it looks like all our friends are safe. But you guys, you guys are jerks. I'm gonna get you back for that, I swear to God, Beegus. Yeah, and, uh, looks like we're imprisoned. Or not. Hey, Father! Father, you saved us, and Leonardo, you saved us as well. This is awesome. All right. You know what, Leonardo? You're cool. You're like the Ninja Turtle, Leonardo. He was pretty awesome as well. Even though I prefer Michelangelo, but that's a different story. Anyways, so now that we got a group of people, it's, it's time to take on Vegas and... Danilado and Shannon, and it's gonna be an equal fight, and it's gonna be awesome, and... Oh, man. Wait, what's going on? So, wait. Danilado was Leonardo's master, and basically the apprentice just surpassed the master, and... Did father, what are you doing? No, father? Dad? No!